Out of the three homes that were broken into in this neighborhood, two of the people who lived in them were home at the time and were able to scare off the intruders. But at that other home where no one was home, those thieves took a TV, a laptop, an Xbox, and multiple paintball guns. I was really shocked because we've lived here for 12 years and nothing has ever happened like this before. Home invasions are not common in this quiet Huntersville neighborhood. In fact, they're not common within town limits at all. Going back for the last couple of years, we actually haven't had any burglaries of this type where there's people at home. Captain Vaughn says when burglaries do happen in town, they're most likely to occur during the day when no one is home. Huntersville is a safe place to live. The police are going to be very proactive as much as they have been in the past. You'll see more officers in these areas specifically that uh, were broken into. They're also asking neighbors to send in any security or doorbell video that may help them in their investigation. Joan Castro lives right across the street from one of the houses that was hit, but says she nor her doorbell camera saw anything. They actually broke the window in the room where they were sleeping broken windows and a lot of questions in this one Huntersville neighborhood, but a warning from those who live here. I think people really shouldn't be doing things like this because one of these days they're not going to like what they find. Captain Vaughn tells me police did get a promising lead during their initial investigation, but so far no one has submitted any of those doorbell videos. They also say people can submit anonymous tips through Crime Stompers if they have any information. Reporting in Huntersville, Sydney Heiberger, Fox 46.